it's Melanie and today I want to show you a super exciting makeover and how I did it for only one dollar. guys this is probably one of my most favorite makeovers I've done in a while and this is actually our TV stand it's actually a bookshelf that we purchased I think three or four years ago well we maybe four years ago doesn't matter we've had it for a few years and I purchased it from Target and I loved it very very much um, but the edges like right along here they kind of got dinged up a little bit whenever we moved a few years ago and then when my daughter started teething sometimes she would walk up and start gnawing on it which kind of scared me because it was like chipping it off so we had to like block her from it but anyway um, it needed some sort of like fixing and I thought about getting a marker to like color it in like you know like the stain markers or whatever but I love me some fixer upper so I was inspired to just kind of go to town and just sandpaper it. So anyway, um, that's, that's what I did. I just used sandpaper. You could buy sandpaper for one dollar from Dollar Tree or you can go to your local hardware store. I mean it's the most inexpensive makeover. If you're going to leave it like this you might want to put some sort of furniture wax on it or um, like a sealer like a flat polyurethane of some sort but I think that eventually in the next year I might sand it down completely and make it like a gray color um, but for now I'm totally in love with this because I just I love the way that it turned out so I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to like age the whole um, flat furniture part because if you're antiquing a lot of times you just do like the edges but I want to do the whole panel so I will show you what I did how I did it super easy and I only paid a dollar for it Alrighty, guys, here it is. I used a small piece, um, and then whenever I needed a new piece, I just replaced it. So this is all I use at, about at one time, but you can use however much you want. Um, I just feel like I have more control with the small piece. And again, this came from Dollar Tree, you guys. You can also get, this is my, my um, five-year-old son trying to come into frame to show you um, an up close of the sandpaper, which I didn't ask him to. He just did it on his own, which I thought was super cute, so I did not edit it out. Anyway, I started by just sanding down the edges, um, which is kind of what you do whenever you want that like antique farmhouse look. You sand down the edges. I'm going to give you an up close at first um, because I debated on just keeping it like that because the edges is kind of what was, um, that's what was the most messed up. Um, but I realized that I just, I kind of wanted to um, like just, you know, scratch the whole thing up and make it look really farmhouse. Um, I made sure to get the corners really well. Um, and then I did um, the edges first because whenever you like antique or do like a farmhouse look Sometimes you can like just do the edges or like go over like some detailing things like that um, For me, I just it kind of still looked a little more dinged up after I did it and it still kind of looked I don't know like too shiny. It just wasn't um, Like what was trending I guess if that makes any sense. So um, I really wanted um, like a more flat finish too. If you notice this is shiny. This is just me showing you what it looks like um, whenever I did just the top and bottom, um, which was only my original uh, thought, but I must say it took a lot longer to do other ones. So this is like the before and after. This is a before, if you notice. That was my Xbox. I really need to clean that off. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I dusted everything but the Xbox apparently for this uh, video. I'm rambling. Anyway, that's the before and after if you just do the edges, which I thought was pretty cool looking, but it wasn't quite the look I was going for. So I just decided to start scratching it up. Trust me, it's going to look a lot better, but um, there's like a rhyme and reason to it. So when you first start scratching it up, it may look, um, you may hate it. <laughs> Trust me, you just keep sanding. There's a rhyme and a reason to it, and I'm going to show you in a second. Um, and it takes a little bit of time, but if you can actually pull the shelf out, I actually did it, made it easier for me, which you're going to see in a second. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just kept sanding and eventually it came to what I wanted, even though at first I kind of panicked because this is just the under layer and then you smooth out the top layer. All right, so this is in a, um, like a times two kind of uh, fast motion here because it takes so long. So the first thing that I do with the shelf is I am going to sand down all of the edges. Um, that's what I would do with any piece if I was going to sand it down. Um, because the edges kind of, if they would naturally get worn faster or more, 
um, and then I edge from each side so kind of a little tiny bit heavier on each side but you want to keep in mind that you don't want to push very hard at all because you don't want to like scratch it too deep in case you ever want to restain it or round it off too much unless you want it rounded off I kind of round off a little bit sometimes depending on the piece and where it's at because I do have a five-year-old a two-year-old that love to bang their heads off things um, but then I just kind of like work it in and if you notice um, the under layers here every once in a while I'll kind of just sand a few um, strokes going the wrong direction and but most of it stays with the grain because you don't want it to look um, it, it, it kind of makes it look more uniform and looks more smooth if you say um, with the grain but if you kind of make a few un underneath when you first start make um, a few strokes going the opposite direction it kind of you can see it through just a little bit which kind of makes it look like it kind of was made that way or not made that way worn that way on its own um, but for the most part, you kind of want to go in the same direction um, just so it kind of keeps it looking more uniform, <laughs> smooth. But here is another look at the shelf um, while it was still on before I realized I should take it off. And as you notice, this is when I first started, so it does look a lot more rough. The whole point is to kind of rough up the bottom a little bit, make a few slashes the other direction kind of a deal um, and then just smooth out afterwards smooth it out um, going the, the like same direction um, and then you can't see that much through it so this is kind of like halfway through and then this is what um, my finished product kind of looks like up close so I did the corners and then you know like coming out from the corners and then kind of like scuffed up in between um, I used a very fine grit sandpaper on the top just to kind of like smooth it out and again you want to seal this if you're going to keep it like this just to kind of you know keep it safe but I absolutely love the way this turned out please ignore the cords I still need to um, fix those I'm almost done with the living room but I am not done yet but anyway I just super duper love this I love the way that it turned out and I paid a dollar for it and it's so like farmhouse chic Alrighty, yes, guys that is it I hope I don't get a lot of hate for sanding down a finished piece of furniture but I had to you know make it look good again and in my opinion I just love like the old aged you know the old age look but anyway that is it if you have any tips and tricks for me please let me know in the comments below and please check out my other um, DIYs and I have I think a whole playlist for those and I will link those below I will be putting this on my home talk page if you don't follow me there please follow me there I love that website as well as Pinterest and Instagram and everything else but that is it thank you guys for watching it means the world to me bye all love you